yeah, I think, I think we are ready for this, right? So good afternoon, everyone. We are Fernando Álvarez, Ariadna Villavicencio, Camila Chuquimango, and Ari Herrera. And today we will be presenting the process of our life-changing activity we did during this third by Master de Chartain. We have decided to divide this presentation following the inquiry cycle, which is divided into three parts, inquiry, action, and reflection. First, before doing anything, we need to understand the topic we were going to talk about, or in our case, present about. Due to this, we will start with inquiry. The key concept this by Mr. used is connection. We relate this concept to the Shark Tank since we connected our ideas to create a better product. Moreover, we made social connections and historical connections due to we connected our past to improve our future, in this case, creating our new class. Then we have a related concept, which is context. In this case, we adapted and created projects according to the actual educational situation for future generations to have a better one. Then we have a global context that is scientific and technological innovations. And this activity, the ideas they bring were, up, were about the future. So they involve technology for innovative ideas to improve education. And in this case, at Lord Byron School. This was our statement of inquiry. And to give you a better understanding of this, uh, we will later on talk about skills, learning methods, and how we apply them into our final activity. To evaluate this activity, we have four criteria. Criterion A, listening. Criterion B, reading. Criterion C, speaking. And criterion D, writing. We have three, three different types of questions in our opener. The developable questions, the factual questions, and the conceptual questions. So we did a quiz in order to verify the learning we did uh, after knowing all these questions and after answering them, answer them. Now um, we will talk about our process of preparation and investigation throughout this bimester. We have focused on the matter of education innovation, and technology. So to acquire more knowledge and discuss the questions mentioned before, we made a set of worksheets in which we can highlight two formative assessments uh, we did in pairs and by ourselves. And also we created our own debatable factual and conceptual questions. Now we'll proceed to explain the action part of this activity following our inquiry cycle. So tell us, Camila, how we did this? First, Ms. Michelli divided the class in groups of three and sent them into smaller meeting groups. However, in the short situation, we were four and we were first sent to a meeting with the teacher for them being sent to various groups to evaluate them and give them some feedback and advice. And our classmates were able to prepare in only one session and present the next one. Most of them prepared infographics, posters, or word documents to illustrate and describe their idea better. Then we proceed to ask questions through the chat so our, our miss could read it out loud. So these are basically the questions we asked during all this Shark Tank. And this is us making one question. Okay, Shark 2 says, how are you going to deliver the exams? So exams, like I previously said, it's not going to be like physical papers. It's gonna be to judge like the experience they have in the open field if they go to interact with the more than nature. Okay. So it's gonna be like the exam of the okay. Now we would like to show you the questions we did to some students because we have already seen the experience, but we would like to know how they enjoy it or describe it more differently. So Silvana will tell us how she described the Shark Tank 
the Shark Tank in three words. Okay, if I had to describe the Shark Tank in three words, it'll be fun, also helpful, and as an innovation, because it was new and made us work as a team. Now, Daniela will tell, no, um, Daniela will tell us if she discovered who the sharks were. At first, I thought the sharks would be part of the MU delegation and that made a lot of sense to me. Now, Daniela will tell us what criteria did she use for creating her project? Like, I think that the criteria we use were creative and deep because we present something and that's a spoken form, so maybe deep. <laughs> You know, after watching all these videos, I think we all can agree on the fact that they didn't really discover who the sharks were, but they have some good news. Now, after watching, you will see a video in which you will, you will discover who the sharks were. So let's go ahead. I never thought I would be selected as a shark, despite the fact I wanted to be one. <laughs> At first, I had in mind uh, I was going only to have my group and present my idea to the sharks and maybe win the contest, but surprisingly I was a shark and instead of putting ideas was to hear the idea from the groups. Honestly, no. When the activity was announced in class, I thought I would, other students would take that role, but I'm happy with me. In my opinion, I didn't think I was going to be selected because I think it was more of luck thing rather than skill thing. No because the rights were so good and it was difficult to find a loophole on this. To formulate the questions were actually very easy because when the groups were presenting their ideas to us, they didn't cover every aspect on their presentations. So there were some details that I didn't know what we we're going to do with. So that was what I'm going to inspire in my question. Were the questions easy to formulate? Personally, I think that depended on which group, rather than if overall they were easy to make or hard to make. Some groups left more blank spots than others, and it really depended on which group. The questions I had to formulate uh, weren't so weren't hard to formulate. I mean, I tried to get participants into a comfort zone so they could express their ideas. And also, when we had to decide who was going to win, uh, we voted and we decided that a group will win based on that. Yeah, I would like to be a shark again. It was a fun experience. <laughs> of course, I would like to be a shark again. It's a very great experience and it's a very enjoyable moment. Would you like to be a shark again? Yeah, sure. In my opinion, I wouldn't like to be a shark again because I want to know how is it to be a participant in this shark tank. And also, I would like to propose like new things to a group of sharks. As we have mentioned before, this activity help us develop AT skills and IB skills. First of all, we'll be mentioning AT skills. So tell us, Ari, which AT skills we have developed. First, we have critical thinking because we as sharks had to choose between a lot of projects 
the most accurate one based on different criterions. And also we've developed creative thinking, especially the, the classmates that had to create the classroom ah. because they had to choose between educational models and also their creativity. Afterwards, we have effective communication throughout interaction. Our classmates practice these abilities by presenting their ideal classes in front of other contestants and sharks with effective communication and interaction. Finally, we have one of the most important, which is collaboration. Both sharks and participants had to work as a team to either create an educational model or judge and choose the best one. As Ariadna mentioned before, we have also developed IP skills, such as thinkers, because our classmates had to think of innovative ideas to make a better impact on the sharks, while us, the sharks, had to think questions to prove that the group was well prepared and their idea was viable. Another attribute is communicators. This one applies mainly to our classmates since they had to communicate effectively to give their idea correctly. Then we have risk takers. This can be evidence in the fact that our classmates have proposed various ideas that haven't been tried before. And finally, we have inquires, which applies to the groups because they had to research information on security measures about the current situation and so on to elaborate their project and complete all the worksheets. And to conclude with this presentation, we have our reflection. Camila, what have you learned from all this activity? From this activity, I have learned how education has changed and continues changing throughout the time. And also that we are building citizens of the world if we take into consideration the past presentations, which are ideas that if we specify and make tiny modifications will eventually become real. So Fernando, how have we learned in the Shark Tank? Well, Camila, let me tell you that you have learned in various ways. First, we have learned by surfing through the internet, sharing and discussing ideas with our team members by presenting orally our projects and then from the feedback and questions from the sharks. Ariadna, what other occasions you can use this? It's my belief that we can use what we have learned in the Shark Tank in history classes, or maybe if you want to do a timeline of education or a comparative chart between the past, present, and future. You can use this in any presentation which, which has the same or at least a similar topic to the one page. Ari, on what it has served you? Well, in my case, all this activity has made me realize how important it is to interact with us, the students, as we are, were the ones who made the future class. To say nothing of the fact that I realized that the future of education is more complex than I thought before. In, in the sense, it is not difficult to imagine, but it is to make it real and achievable. This is, these are our APA sources. And thank you for your attention and we hope you have liked our presentation.